podium is yours. Thank you, Senator Ernst, for leading this. Um, today, the U.S. Congress will hear from Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in what is a critically important address. And um, I have to say that uh, I'm anxious to hear, I think like a lot of my Republican colleagues are, about what Israel needs to be able to defend itself and succeed against the terrorist threats that it literally faces on all sides. One thing it needs, one thing it needs is for the United States to have its back. Israel needs a reliable American ally, which is why it is so disappointing, and I would say more than disappointing, disturbing, that there are so many Democrats who are going to boycott, boycott the, uh, the address this afternoon. And it's especially disturbing that Vice President Harris has opted not to preside uh, over this event. She uh, felt comfortable presiding over the worst, as borders are, the worst border crisis that we've seen in our history. Um, she was comfortable presiding over the passage of the reckless tax and spending spree, the so-called Inflation Reduction Act, and numerous other uh, nominations that have come across the Senate floor. And yet here we have our greatest ally in the Middle East and a crucial security partner coming and testifying or speaking to the United States Congress, and uh, she can't be there to preside over this important meeting. So I can tell you one thing, that the Republicans are going to be there in force. Uh, we will be expressing our support for uh, our ally Israel. And um, in light of what happened on October 7th and everything that's happened since, now more than ever, uh, the U.S. and what used to be a bipartisan majority here in the United States Congress needs to stand behind Israel. But I can assure you one thing, is that, it, and that is the Republicans here in the House and the Senate will be doing that, not only this afternoon when we listen to the Prime Minister, but when it comes to delivering on the important assistance uh, that this relationship and this partnership requires in order for Israel uh, to survive in a very, very dangerous world. Thank you.